A lot of you guys don't know much about me and the last time I did a video like this was around a year ago and there was some construction uh, near my apartment and it was too noisy to do a video uh, so I decided to drive over to this park and just you know talk off the top of my head how things have been going lately and my life has changed drastically uh, since one year ago and you guys are really what I have to thank for that uh, throughout most of my life uh, I've struggled to fit in and that applies to school that applies to you know working a normal job making a living wage uh, it's, it's been hard for me to say the least uh, I, I've said this before you know I've literally been on hundreds of job interviews uh, I've worked probably over a hundred jobs in and itself uh, in personal training in waiting tables and bartending uh, all things oriented around food and health uh, as well as fitness and with the growth of my YouTube channel uh, you know towards the end of 2018 beginning of 2019 I've been able to shift gears and focus my energy towards creating YouTube videos uh, educating people on health and improving their well-being and that's what I've always wanted to do uh, but in regards to actually what I'm doing in my life I, I guess we should start with my day today uh, most days I usually wake up pretty early uh, around 5 or 6 a.m. I try to get a video done uh, I used to do my videos ahead of time like a day or two ahead of time but ever since I got really sick from drinking the raw dairy the honey trying the Ajanis Vonner Planets diet uh, I've been struggling to keep that schedule uh, so usually I just wake up really early uh, I'll film a video uh, I usually write the script the night before or I come up with the concept the night before and then I just film it for several hours in the morning edit the video upload it and usually by like 9 30 or 10 a.m. Uh, I'm done with that then I'll usually check my emails I'll spend about you know half an hour to an hour uh, responding to all of my emails I read every single one of my YouTube comments uh, so that takes up a fair chunk of my time every day you know I check social media you know I post on social media Instagram Twitter uh, as my video goes live every day and after that I usually cook something that's my first meal of the day and my only meal of the day so, you know I'll just take some meat I'll go outside I'll throw it on the grill I'll uh, have some steak usually or well mainly whole cuts of cheap beef uh, with some beef fat sometimes I throw some organ meats in a couple of times a week have that meal by the time I eat it's usually around 1 p.m. 1 30 and then I go up to my parents house to help take care of my sister uh, for those of you guys that don't know uh, I'm a triplet I have a brother and a sister uh, we are all 28 years old uh, my sister is unfortunately mentally disabled uh, my brother uh, works in physics out in California so I head up to my parents house it's about uh, an hour and a half north of the city uh, about 45 minutes from where I am so I do some meal prep and then uh, by the time I do my meal prep for her I literally do everything her breakfast her lunch her snack her dinner every single meal every single day she used to be very overweight and uh, maybe I'll have her in a video to talk about her weight loss story uh, but she went from obese uh, 4 foot 11 155 pounds uh, to about 100 pounds at 4 foot 11 so she lost an incredible amount of weight uh, over about a year and a half and you know my parents were very stressed uh, had a hard time uh, being mindful of her health uh, especially in the environment she was in uh, you know with the day program and the other kids and then my sister usually gets home uh, so I try to spend most of the day with her uh, I spend usually a couple hours at the gym with her working out uh, cooking some meals with her too towards the end of the day uh, usually dinner and by that time uh, it's usually around 8 9 or 10 o'clock uh, I head back home uh, write a script for my video respond to more YouTube comments uh, usually take a little bit of time to myself I'll you know I'll watch some other YouTube videos or uh, catch up on things I've been meaning to do uh, for my business uh, you know with Frankie's free range meat and Frankie's naturals uh, I, I try to squeeze time in here and there uh, thankfully I have a great business partner Adam uh, that does a lot of the grunt work for the meat business and for Frankie's naturals uh, I try to fill orders two or three times a week and then I do production runs uh, in the early mornings on the weekends for all of my hygiene and cosmetic products uh, as I do make them myself so uh, you know as much as I'm working hard and uh, you know trying to stick to this and really see where it goes I have a bunch of other things I'm looking to do in the future as well and I feel as if my day today is putting all of my eggs in one basket with my YouTube channel uh, because logistically what I do you know there's not a lot of networking I just I just make a YouTube video every day 
Uh, so I'm, I'm trying to do some other things in the future. Uh, I'm working on a book right now. Uh, I have a buddy, a film producer, and we're going to do a steakhouse pilot uh, in New York City. Uh, hopefully that turns out really well. And ho hopefully I get some other opportunities on the table in the near future. I feel as if I've sacrificed the last six to seven years uh, learning and understanding nutrition in order to convey uh, my message to people and help people uh, through my YouTube channel, hopefully soon through my book, uh, through just having email interactions and social media interactions with hundreds and hundreds of people. I know this is the payoff time and it's incredibly difficult. I'm doing everything on my own and there's an incredibly steep learning curve for everything. Whether it's making the thumbnail of a video uh, to formatting all of this graphic stuff, illustration, uh, media marketing. I've realized that anyone doing this at a very high level has a lot of people behind them helping them. Uh, whether it's a special interest funding group or whether they have enough money and a production team uh, in order to have their own business focused on creating this type of content. And that leads to me emphasizing you know, how grateful I am uh, that people enjoy my YouTube channel, that they like my videos, uh, you know, that they send me messages every day, that you know, they're so happy that their health has improved, that I help their children, their family, you know, whatever it may be. Uh, that means the world to me and uh, that people are seeing those benefits and as a result of that sharing my videos and helping more people. Uh, that's my goal and that's what I've always been looking to do. Uh, but you know, I've been really sad the past few months and uh, there's been an overwhelming amount of negative energy uh, and I believe that's part of you know, what I spoke about yesterday and I believe a lot of that special interest funding is leading to that negative energy. Uh, so you know, I wanted to tell you guys, you know, I've been having a hard time personally and as much as you know, I brush all of this stuff off my back, uh, at the end of the day, you know, me spending half of my day having negative interactions with people on my YouTube channel, you know, trying to get away from this negativity, it, it's very difficult to do. Uh, as you can imagine, it's pretty discouraging when you have, you know, hundreds to thousands of people uh, ad hominem attacking you, calling you names, uh, trying to discredit your intelligence, uh, gaslighting you, doing all of these things. And that, that happens in my day, and I've already worked a 15 hour day, and then I have to spend two to three hours writing a script full of information that I know someone is likely just going to pawn off as their own information. So uh, it's incredibly stressful, it's incredibly discouraging, and uh, I, I wanna let you guys know I'm willing to work through it and stick it out, but uh, it, it's, <laughs> I'm not happy about it. <laughs> I'm really not happy about it. Uh, you know, I, I see how everyone else is being treated, and I, I feel like uh, either I'm missing something or I'm not part of the club. Uh, so I don't want this video to be taken as a complaining video. Uh, I, I want it to be very clear that, that that's a very large thing that's impacting me negatively in my life right now. Uh, and, and plus, on top of all my family stuff. Uh, I told you guys in my past video, uh, you know, when, when my mother had me, my brother, and my sister, you know, they botched the C-section. Uh, she got a blood disease, ended up having a kidney transplant. Uh, my father's uh, a gambling addict. His father was a bad gambling addict. Um, I, I mean, I don't want to talk about this stuff personally, but you know, my, my parents are very, uh, I mean, I hate to say it, but they're very unwell. They're not mentally fit. Uh, very bipolar behavior, unreasonable. That combined with my mentally disabled sister, uh, it, it's very stressful. And I, I was always able to deal with that stress, uh, but the stress of this YouTube drama and all this negativity uh, that I'm getting in from all of these other people it is compounding on that and now it's affecting me negatively personally and, and it's changing how I am as a person. Uh, it really is. I, I'm starting to uh, not, not be as nice. You know, I, I used to you know, respond to every single email w with a lot of help, uh, give away a lot of information that I shouldn't have for free. And now I'm starting to think about changing the way I go about things. You know, a, lo a lot of other people, you know, kind of sell out and shill everything and they, they don't give information away for free. They're, they're always sponsored by something. So, uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I don't want to, I don't want to ramble on too much more. I'm still thinking about getting back into, you know, waiting tables or like the New York City nightlife scene. Uh, I haven't had as much of a social life anymore ever since I, uh, ever since I stopped uh, waiting tables and personal training. You know, not, not as much interaction with people and that combined with, you know, where my parents live and me going to the gym with my sister. 
P people aren't nice. Uh, you know, everyone seems to be, you know, in their own little world. And I feel like if you didn't have friends when you were growing up or like you didn't do certain things, like, like if you don't go to college and you don't have friends in high school and, you, you know, you don't join any clubs or groups or you're not part of like a profession, you know, you, you don't have a community. And what I have is my YouTube community. And I know I have people that support me, but you know, everyone else on YouTube has more than a YouTube community. You know, if, if you notice, you know, I, I'm pretty selfless and dedicated to my YouTube channel and everyone else on YouTube seems to have their own thing they're doing. And, and that's understandable, you know, everyone has their own life, their family and all of those things, but they seem to make it a focus of their YouTube channel and they seem to keep it uh, pretty private. So, uh, I don't know, let me, let me know what I'm missing because uh, I'm sitting out here in this park losing my fucking mind, to be honest. Moving forward, I'm really going to try to focus on all of the positive things and ignore anything negative. Uh, so Frankie's free range meat uh, is, is a big thing that I'm, I'm super excited about. Uh, I didn't think I was going to be able to do it, to be honest. I thought it was going to be too difficult to source the quality of animal foods uh, that I wanted to provide to you guys. And uh, right now, what we're putting in these Frankie's free range meat boxes will blow your mind. This is meat fat, organs, stuff that I couldn't even get my hands on before I started this company. So I'm looking forward, as we grow, as we get bigger, uh, we're really going to set the standard in, in the market. So if you guys wanna check out frankeastrangemeat.com and see what that's about, uh, you are supporting the future vision of truly high quality nutrient dense animal foods. Uh, we're going to do raw dairy, we're going to do pasture raised eggs, we're gonna have wild caught fish, we will have every quality animal food you guys want. Uh, Frankie's Naturals cosmetic and hygiene products. I mean, I honestly, I started that just to have my own deodorant. So uh, wherever that goes, I don't really care. I could probably work on the marketing a bit more. Uh, but if you guys wanna check out frankiesnaturals.com, wanna try out some products, maybe I'll do a giveaway this weekend or next weekend, we'll see. But outside of that, I can't thank you guys enough for supporting me. Uh, if you could please like the video, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Share the video if you can. Uh, I didn't mean to be too pessimistic in this video. Uh, I, I just, you know, how I felt the past few days, uh, this is actually pretty positive compared to, uh, you know, what's going on. Either way, thanks again for joining me today, guys, and enjoy the rest of your week.